Hey folks, Merry Christmas, hope you're all having a nice time. I've got about uh, 27th of December, it's quarter past one so I've got about two and a half hours of light. I've got to get some more of these concrete, uh, the old rotten posts dug out. I'll just show you what partly of Santa's brought me. So this is my new pair of wellies. Look at that, I've got tread. No, he is the old one. <laughs> Long overdue, I think. Hopefully, I won't be uh, sliding about as much now. Anyway, goodbye, old friends. You've served me well. Indeed, you have. Anyway, out with the old, on with the new. We do fit, honestly. Oh, good that, eh? Right, let's get cracking. All right, well we're down the plot, and this is one of the old posts. The other one's just over there. You can see it's just completely rotten. So what we'll have to do is just unscrew these pipes that's uh, carrying the garden canes. I will be able to recycle some of this, I'll just cut it up a bit from the rot and repoint it and uh, we can give it a new life for a while at any rate and then we've got to get in and dig all this concrete out ready for the uh, the new Galvo posts, well not new but obviously second hand but I've already gotten painted with a bitumen paint and then I'm going to post creep those in there and then they'll be supporting this espalier I've just got it temporarily tied into a um, a road spike here but well, it's going to be uh, using the gripple trolley system again to do that but the main thing I want to do today as I say is just get the old concrete out uh, and then I can I probably won't get time to uh, do them today but at least if I can get the holes ready and what have you uh, and get everything lined up then it shouldn't take too long to, uh, to uh, get the new stuff in so I'll bring you back just to show you how rotten they've become look at that hardly any effort at all Right, anyway, like I said, I can reuse those. So, I'll get on, bring you back in a minute.
can see it moving a little bit. We're just doing about 320 stone guys now. See it on the end of this scaffold pull. Can you see it's just moving a bit now? Anyway. I'll go and dig some more soil out. Oops. Hey, we've got movement. Now, next thing we just got to get it out of this hole. <laughs> that was when you wish you had another pair of helping hands. Right, just hold it there a minute. <laughs> There's a big hole in the ground, Captain. And an even bigger rock. Well, that's one dug. Dug out anyway. Uh, let's get on with the other one. Bring you back. This size. I don't know if you can see that. I've noticed, been digging here where obviously the ground hasn't been dug for years. A lot of big worms. Uh, that surely must lend evidence towards no dig. I would have thought anyway. Let's get a crowbar. back. See if we can leave it a little bit. I was thinking when I put that other one in. <laughs> anyway, that's a good job done. It took me a lot longer than I estimated. That's probably because, as I say, the other ones were relatively easy, even though they had a similar amount of concrete. Uh, they just didn't seem as firm in the ground. So what I'm going to do is get those into a couple of uh, dumpy buckets and get them down to the uh, reef at land landfill. I think it's open today so I don't want them hanging around here. And uh, I guess the other thing is what I need to do to be honest is backfill those and tramp the ground down, really consolidate it and then dig it out again because that's far too big a hole. I obviously don't need as much when I'm doing my post crate. I won't need a hole as big as that. And also, uh, last time I didn't just get the alignment right. So that hole is too far this way. So I need to sort of bring it back more, if you can see, in line with that, with that espalier. So I just need to uh, get my holes aligned before I actually concrete them in. Anyway, 
let's go and get this uh, moved into a dumpy bucket. Everything close to hand. Right, that's toes two, those two, toes two, those two. Big lumps of concrete ready for the tip. <laughs> 